situation team. They're just they're they're tough. So, but I'm really proud of our guys. Um, we had a lot of guys step up today, played well, and made enough plays in all three phases of the game. Got plays in the kicking game, offensively, defensively. Really played uh, you know a complimentary game the way we need to play it against a good football team like this. And uh, you know, it's really proud of the way the guys you know stood up and and came through. Um, you know, we were missing a few few players uh, and. You know, we had a couple of guys that were playing, I'm sure, well less than 100 percent, but you know, really sucked it up and and uh, played hard for the team and you know gave us a great effort tonight. So um, it was certainly a game that was a lot about field position, and um, you know we had pretty good field position, um, probably the better part of the field position in the game. Um, so that was important in all areas. Um, so that was that was a big key to the game for us, and of course taking care of the ball. Uh, was was critical. Not turn it over and um, you know handling things well. It's, it was the conditions were challenging out there, but uh, you know Tom, the receivers, the backs did a great job. Specialists, I mean they all they all did a good job in in uh, you know less than ideal conditions. So um, you know, I think anytime you get through a game like that and uh, take care of the football, uh, that's you know that's objective number one. So um, that was good. Good to good to win. Uh, Bill, I wanted to ask you about those conditions. It's easy to sit in the press box or watch on TV and go, oh, it's raining. But how much of an impact does the wind, the temperature, and the precipitation play uh, on the offense, particularly in the passing game uh, and uh, trying to get the ball out, uh, especially downfield towards the White House end of the field? Yeah, I think anywhere on the field is, was hard. Um, you know, ball's wet, your hand's wet. The field was a little slick. Um, and the wind was a factor. Um, I don't know that any one of them were just you know, unplayable, but when you add them all up together, it just made it very challenging. Um, you know, the the wind kind of came and went, it gusted a little bit, and then it would calm down. Same thing with the rain. At times, it was a little steadier, and then it seemed like it let up a little bit. But it was you know just continuous throughout the day. So, um, but, you know, again, I can't say uh, enough positive things about the way our skill players handled that and. Uh, you know, defensively, it's a big challenge tackling, especially against a great back like Elliott or or uh, Prescott or guys like that. You know, they're, they're they're all wet. You're all wet. It's hard to grab a hold of anything and and be good tackling. You know, be a good tackling team. I thought we tackled pretty well today. We you know made some plays where they uh, came up short of the first down because we we tackled well. So that was uh, again, it was challenging. But uh, you know, our guys did a good job. <clears throat> You talked about um, a number of guys stepping up. Can you talk about the working receivers, you know, Jacoby and Nikhil stepping up today to help the guys out? Uh, yeah, yeah, they, um, you know, they stepped up. They, uh, you know, had a couple big plays. Um, again, not perfect. We still got a long way to go. I think they're learning every time they step on the field, whether it's practice field, game field, or uh, even walkthrough. But uh, certainly, they made plays that we needed today to to win. Uh, weren't a lot of points scored, and you know, they were involved in. Uh, either the field position or the actual scoring of it that Nikhil had. So, um, yeah, they did a nice job. That's Nikhil Harry. Expect to hear a lot of game management questions for Jason Garrett. But, you know, certainly the weather played had an impact on both offenses. Really hard to handle the ball uh, throughout the game. Uh, you know, the throwing and catching, there were, there were obviously uh, a lot of balls on the ground, a lot of balls going off receivers' hands on both sides, and it's just the nature of it. And uh, the biggest thing you have to do is just keep banging away. And I do think we made some plays in the passing game. I thought Dak really hung in there well. I thought our guys handled the ball better and better as the game wore on. But that certainly was a factor. Obviously, New England plays great defense, one of the best defenses in the NFL this year. Uh, they're going to make it hard on you. They're going to make you earn it. And uh, again, it was going to be a challenging game for us. We knew that uh, moving the football. Uh, weather certainly played a factor in it. Uh, ultimately, we didn't make enough plays at the critical moments to score enough points. Why kick the field goal with six minutes to play? Yeah, just to give us a chance coming back the other way, fourth and seven, you know, making a four point game. If they go ahead and kick a field goal coming back, you still have a chance to be in the game. And then, you know, would we get it back with just under three uh, with a chance to go win it? So just felt good about that decision at that time. Considering the way that how difficult it was offensively and how to get down there, you needed the 59 yard play by Cobb. Did you consider it all? Uh, them down. Yeah, you, you consider all options, obviously, in that situation. When it went to fourth and seven, it became a little bit more, uh, not quite as manageable as you'd like it to be in that situation to go for. Is it a hypothetical that were you, if, if you would have gotten three, four yards on, on third and 
third down there? Would you have been more likely to go for it at that point? Yeah, obviously, if the fourth down is more manageable, you're more likely to go for it in that situation. Did you have an idea in mind on what it was, what a manageable fourth was there? Uh, just a more manageable one, you know, fourth and short. Yeah, we had a, we had a run pass uh, check in at that point, and because of what they played, uh, we threw it and converted the converted the first down, and unfortunately we had a tripping penalty uh, that that put us back. Yeah, obviously it didn't work out for us, unfortunately. So I uh, played it out. We had a great opportunity to go win the ball game at the end. So you know, in that situation, if if they bleed the clock and in the game, you don't get it back again. You know that that that's one scenario, but when you get a chance to go uh, to get the ball back and have a chance to go win the ball game, uh, you know you just want to give yourself that opportunity. Did you drifting penalties? Can you talk about those? I I can't. Uh, I didn't really see them. Um, what kind of effect did you think the conditions had on the performance of the offense? Yeah, obviously it was a challenging day. Uh, it was windy. It was wet the whole day. It was hard to handle the football. You know, for the quarterbacks, for the receivers, for the runners, uh, on both sides, we were both were playing in the same conditions. So you just had to battle through it and keep scratching and clawing. I do think as the game wore on, we did a better job handling the ball, uh, but you can't be quite as precise in your passing game when when the conditions are like this. You just have to you have to you know develop a mutter's mentality and somehow, some way, get the job done. And I thought, you know, for the most part, we were able we were banging away and trying to do that. Yeah, I don't want to really comment until we see it on the tape. What, what about the delay on the punt before their last drive for the field goal? Did you have the delay and then uh, left game and then a illegal motion. illegal motion? Yeah, the delay had something to do with the protection, what they were doing, not having a returner. So we just wanted to make sure we were squared away against their rush. And uh, and then we brought the uh, – on the, on the one after that, we brought the, the outside guy in, the flyer in, and we snapped the ball quickly to combat it. So obviously, we want to handle those situations a little bit better. In it late, but falling behind early again, especially on the road in these conditions, does that make it even more difficult for you guys to overcome? Yeah, obviously, you want to, you want to play well in the first half. You'd like to, you like to get ahead in the ball game. Uh, that didn't happen today. I thought our guys did a good job battling back. You know, the block punt and the interception, the minus territory, were big plays early on in the game that gave them their scoring opportunities. I thought our defense did a good job making them drive the football uh, throughout the game. Did a really good job, uh, just really slowing that offense down. Uh, you know, obviously the quarterback is the best that ever was, and and they got a lot of really good players on that side of the ball. So I thought the defense stepped up you know, really throughout the game, and uh, unfortunately we didn't do enough to score enough points to win on our end.